Hi everyone, welcome back to a small video repeat tutorial. It's been a while I haven't back to video repeat tutorial due to cold winter. So today we're back. So today I'm going to show you how to do compression testing on two stroke Victor properly. And let's get started. The most common method of doing compression testing for Victor two stroke is to simply remove the spark plug and insert this compression tester and watch what will happen. Okay, keep an eye with this meter reading. So we'll do um, a five cranks and see what will happen. Okay, what's the reading? Zero. So, does the engine is good or not? So this is the reason why I'm showing this by just simply removing the spark plug and inserting compression tester and doing compression testing doesn't tell you whether the engine has a good compression or not because there's some other um, parts that might affect the compression of the engine especially the decompression valve and we'll have a look at by removing this the compression valve and blocking the compression valve with another spark plug we'll do that Okay, we need the number 19 spanner or 3 4 spanner to remove the, the, the compression valve. So, the first is we need to remove the pipe that attached to the, the nozzle of the, the compression valve. Then you have to remove the compression valve. So, this engine is was working fine. And we have to, we rebuild this carburetor, fully rebuild this carburetor was working fine, and then suddenly it stops working, and we and I found out that the problem has there's a problem on the decompression. Okay, so that's the decompression bulb. So to check with the decompression bulb, we will make another video to to check for how to test the decompression bulb and to see the difference between the the faulty one and the new one so for now we'll plug this one with another spark plug okay we have another spark plug just block the the, comp the compression valve port you can reset this one to zero even though it's already zero it's nothing and we'll do the, the compression test again. So we'll do a five cranks and see what for this one, see what happens. Did you see the okay see the reading? It's ninety. It's close to 90 psi. It's 80, 87, 87 psi. So this is the reason why we can't just uh, simply do a compression testing by removing the spark plug and do inserting the compression tester with the compression valve because it doesn't show you the, the right compression. So with this setup, we can tell that the, the engine is, has a very good compression and the normal compression for the good Victor engine is between 80 psi to 100 psi so you can only test that one properly with by blocking the decompression valve port with another spark plug so we will do a compression test also with the decompression valve with port with the compression valve port uh, attached 
into the return to into the carburetor and also with the decompression valve port removed so we'll see with the new compression valve what's the difference so we have this old decompression valve and then we have a brand new uh, decompression valve and we're going to do a compression reference with the brand new reference um, with the brand new decompression valve without the restrictor and with the restrictor attached to the so we'll try that so we have to remove the this spark plug there and we'll try with a brand new uh, compression valve so we don't have to attach the the fuel line it's not a fuel line but the hose uh, restrictor hose into the decompression we don't have to attach that one all we need to do is to attach the restrictor and it won't make any difference with the with the hose or not so we'll do this one okay so we have to reset this one Okay, we have a reading of 60 psi. That's with the this restrictor here um, installed. So we'll try with uh, the hose attached to the restrictor. We we'll just temporarily plug this one. Okay. Then we have to reset that. So our reading still at 60 psi so that's what said that it won't make any difference if we have to install this one the hose or not for compression purpose it won't make any difference whether we have to install the hose or not but the hose is something to do with the, the carburetor onto the venturi we will do some investigation and we'll try to understand how it works in the later video so now we have to remove this restrictor and do a compression test again okay so that's uh that's removed Okay, you see the reading? It's uh, very close to the one that's when the, the compression valve port was blocked. So we get a reading of roughly 85 psi. So in my own observation and ex experiment with different uh, engine, I noticed that the difference with the decompression valve attached without the restrictor and with the decompression valve port blocked is 5 psi difference so this is 5 psi lower than when it's blocked so now we'll try with this one and see that what's the problem Okay, we'll try with the old decompression valve, with a faulty decompression valve with the restrictor attached and the hose attached back to the carburetor venturi. So we'll try this one. Okay, just it just give us nothing. Okay, we'll try to remove the restrictor. We'll try to remove the restrictor and see what will happen.
Okay, so it's quite interesting, right? We have around 55 psi. So you see the difference with the restrictor attached and without the restrictor. So this definitely, this this decompression valve is faulty. And we'll do, um, we'll do a video on how to test the decompression valve and compare this with the brand new. So now we have to try to run this engine properly with this restrictor attach and you have to remove this uh, compression tester and install the spark plug properly and start the engine so next is we have to remove this restrictor Well, surely it starts right, but it's quite very noisy. So, so now we have to replace this one with uh, the new decompression valve. So temporarily I placed the, the grommet uh, o-ring or on the decompression valve but actually the new decompression valve comes with this uh, sealer for the ring ring sealer. So just temporary for now. So we'll use the its own new restrictor. I won't try to run the engine without the restrictor because of the very strong uh, compression or pressure from the combustion engine to the towards the the compression valve, and it likely it might damage the the diaphragm inside. So I won't try that one. So I have to. We know that the, it's working without the restrictor, but we'll try this one with the restrictor attached temporarily but not fully fully hmm? Okay, it's all good, right? Thanks for watching our video repair tutorial for today. I hope we learned something today and we found it quite interesting to know about compression and compression test. So please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave a comment if you have any questions. So thanks for watching and see you next time for the the, the compression vlog. We'll do a video test a video. Uh, experiment with the, the compression valve and how it works and the difference between the old one and the new one and how to test the decompression valve properly so thanks for watching and see you next time bye for now